Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today we're going through a very fun topic and that is the top 50 shortcut keys in Microsoft Excel. Now I've been using a bunch of shortcut keys for a long time in Microsoft Excel and it's made me work a lot more efficiently. However, I have recently spent the time going through all the different shortcut keys and a lot of the top shortcut keys. And let me tell you, since I've learned them, my productivity in Excel has gone up a ton and I think your productivity could go up too. What I'm gonna do today is we're gonna run through these shortcut keys uh, one by one. I'm gonna show you what they do, how you can use them, and hopefully you pick up a new one or two along the way so your use of Excel can also become more efficient. And my company requires me to say this, but I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. I have to mention that anytime I talk about Microsoft software. All right, well enough talk. Why don't we jump into learning about some Excel shortcut keys? Here I am, I'm on my desktop. This is the latest and greatest version of Microsoft Excel that comes with Office 365. However, many of these shortcut keys haven't changed in a while, so even if you're using an older version of Microsoft Excel, you should be able to follow along. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna jump in and we're gonna go through a few different categories of shortcut keys. We're gonna start with the most frequently used, then we're gonna talk about navigation shortcut keys, formatting shortcuts, and then selection and action shortcuts. So let's jump into the most frequently used shortcut keys. And the first one here is close a spreadsheet. So if you just wanna close a spreadsheet, you press Control W. I'll go ahead and press it real quick just so you can see what it does. And yes, it just closed my workbook. I'm gonna go ahead and open that again real quick. So I'm back in my workbook and we're gonna jump back to the sheet that I was on. And what you can also do is similar to closing a spreadsheet, you could also open a spreadsheet by pressing Control O. That'll bring up the open view in the backstage where you can then select one of your worksheets that you wanna open. Now this is a little bit more of a dated one now, but you could save a spreadsheet by pressing Control S. So when I press Control S, you'll notice the save very quickly. Uh, the save uh, dialog appears here, the save, uh, the save progress. If you haven't yet saved your workbook, it'll ask you to name it. I'm using, I have this uh, file stored in the cloud. You can also access it in the description if you wanna follow along. Uh, but I have it set to auto save and pressing Control S doesn't really matter for me since it's just automatically saving for me. Now these are probably some self-explanatory ones that I'm sure many people already know. Uh, but just for completeness and because it is a frequently used one, we have the copy key. You press Control C and so what I could do is here I could press Control C and now I've copied it and it's on my clipboard. Well, what good would copying be if you can't put it somewhere? And so we have paste with Control V. What I could do is I'll press Control V and there I've pasted it and I could paste it again and I could paste it again. Now the thing with copy is it uh, leaves the original copy in place. Now what I could do here, uh, I have this undo command Control Z. So let's say I delete this. Oh, I didn't actually mean to delete that. I could press Control Z and that'll bring it back. Well, maybe I actually did wanna delete it, so I could press Control Y to redo what I just did, and then I'll get rid of it. And then Control Z brings it back again. If you go up to the top of Microsoft Excel, you see these two arrows. Uh, you have an undo key here and a redo key here. This is the physical key or the, the key on the screen that you could press, or you could just use the shortcut key to save a step of moving your mouse up there. Now another thing you could do is with copy, you're leaving the original in place. With cut, what I could do is I could take the original, so here I'm gonna press Control X, and now I'm gonna press Control V to paste it somewhere else. So I'm taking the original and I'm moving it to a new location. Now one thing I wanna talk about is there are many, many shortcut keys in Microsoft Excel, and really the foundational thing you need to know is to use a shortcut key, the Alt key will basically open your world to many more shortcut keys. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Alt, and you'll see on my screen all these letters appeared. So each one of these letters corresponds with a different uh, control on the screen. So here, I might press Alt, and I wanna, let's say I wanna delete this column. Well, to delete the column, there's this option right here, Delete, but that's within the Home Pivot, so I'm gonna press H, and then I'm gonna press D, and then I'm gonna press C for that column. And let me actually get in this, so I'll press Alt, H, D, C, and that'll delete that column. So with the Alt key, let's say I wanna to go to the Formula tab, I press Alt, and then the Formula tab over here has an M associated with it, so I'll press M, and that brings me to the Formula view, and then I could press any other key as part of this shortcut. So maybe I wanna insert a financial formula, and I press I, and that brings me into this view here. Similarly, if I wanna go home and do any controls from there, here what I do is I press Alt, H, 
and then I could select any one of these options here. Um, so this is kind of a nice thing to know if there are any keys that you use on the ribbon all the time, this is kind of a handy way to figure out what the, sh the specific shortcut key is for it. Simply press Alt, figure out what the letters are, and you could reconstruct the shortcut key from there. I delete columns and delete rows a lot, and so this is one that I've remembered with the Alt, H, D, and then C or R, whether it's a column or a row. Uh, but these are some of the most frequently sh used shortcut keys. Now we're gonna jump into some more fun ones, and we're gonna go into navigation. Now, one of the nice things is, you know, you could switch between cells using the arrow key or you could use the tab key. So here I'm going to press tab and that'll jump me across. So why would you use tab over arrow? Well, here, let's say I type in test four. If I just press the enter key, it brings me down a cell. But let's say I type in test four and I hit the tab key, that'll bring me to the right. So it always brings me to the right, which is a nice thing to do, especially if you're entering numbers uh, or, or let's say across the row. Uh, you might not want to always go down after you enter the value if you click enter. So that's kind of a nice little thing. And just like you could tab to the right, you could also tab to the left with shift tab. So here I'm going to press shift tab. And so what I could do is let's say that I'm in this cell and I have test six, I could press shift tab and then I could type in test five. So nice way to move between cells as I'm entering values. Now what I could also do if I scroll down here to the next shortcut key, this allows me to move to the rightmost, so basically the rightmost column and the very lowest row in my sheet, and I press Control End. So let's go ahead and press Control End. And here I have some text down here in the very bottom that says, you found me here. Yes, we found it. And if I wanna go back up, I press Control Home. So there, that brings me to the, the top row in the leftmost column, and here you can see the shortcut key right here, Control and Home. What I can also do is not only can I navigate within the worksheet, but I can also move to different sheets within my workbook. And I do that by pressing Control Page Down. So here, uh, we're gonna press Control Page Down, and there I jump to the next sheet, and there I jump to the next sheet. And you could probably guess how to get back, but you press Control Page Up to move in the other direction. So here I can move back and forth between all my different sheets. A very quick way to just navigate throughout my workbook. And so those were these two shortcut keys right here. Another very nice shortcut key is pressing control together with the arrow key. And so what that does is it moves to the edge of the current data region. So what does that mean? Well, this is a data region right here. And so if I press control, it'll move to the other end of the data region. So I'm just doing control arrow key. But now this is kind of blank space between these data regions. So here I'm gonna press control arrow and you'll see it jump to the next data region. And so it's very quick if I press control arrow key to jump between all these different data regions, uh, works very nicely. Now what I can also do is let's say I wanna move up and down the sheet, you know, I could use my, my mouse wheel or I could press my mouse wheel and I could scroll or I could use the arrow keys to scroll up and down. But let's say I wanna move a page at a time. What I could do is I could press the page up key. So here I'll press page up and that goes one page at a time. I could also do page down to go down a page at a time. So that's up and down, but how do I do left and right? Well, we combine page up and page down with the alt key. So here if I press, uh, what I'm gonna do alt page up or alt page down, what it'll do, so alt page down goes to the right and then alt page up goes to the left. Uh, so I, could, I can move right left and I could also move up down using the page up down key and then in certain cases combining it with alt. Okay, so that is navigating in cells. Now we're gonna talk about formatting cells. So what I could do, this is a nice one. So I have this number here, 43,863. It's kind of a random number, but if I press Control-1, that brings up the formatting dialog. And what I could do is I could format this as a date. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. And it actually turns out that was February 2nd, so a few days ago, um, and I've now formatted that as a date. And what I could also do now is let's say that I'm working with someone else on a spreadsheet, and I wanna add or edit a cell comment. So I press Shift-F2. And I'll say, hey, this is a cool comment. I don't know why I would ever say that, but what I could do is that comment now appears within my spreadsheet. So kind of a nice one, especially if you're reviewing data and you wanna leave a comment behind or maybe instructions for someone who's working on the workbook. Another nice one is Microsoft Excel. When you work in tables, uh, sometimes it's a lot more uh, easier to get sums and to get averages and that sort of thing. So you might wanna insert a table. Well, you press Control T or Control L to do that. T is a little easier for me to remember because T for table, not sure where the L came from, but I'll press Control T. My, my table has headers. 
and there it just created a table for me. Um, so kind of a quick little shortcut key. Another nice one is, especially as you're working through spreadsheets, you need to either enter the time or the date. Well, to insert the current time, you press uh, Control Shift colon, and that'll insert the time. Right now it's 1.48 p.m. Or if I press Control semicolon, that'll insert the date. And today's date is February 5th, 2020. And uh, that's a nice way to insert the date. So in this example, I want to fill down. And so you'll notice that this cell has nice formatting. I have a black background, a white text. And so what I could do is I'll select that top cell, drag it down and press Control D, and that'll copy down the formatting to all the cells below. Let's say that I want to do it to the side. What I can also do is I could press Control R in this next shortcut key. And so let's say I select that formatting, pull it off to the right, and now I press Control R, and that too copies the formatting and the content. So it fills right. In the other case, it fills down. Now, this is one of the this is one of my favorite ones that I recently learned about. This is a quick way where you could apply formatting. So, one of the typical ways you apply formatting is you could go up here and you could apply dollar percent, comma, or you could do the example where you press the Control One to apply formatting. But this allows you to do quick formatting with just a few clicks of the keyboard. In this case, we're going to do the number format. And just look at your numbers across the top of your keyboard where you have the exclamation point, the at sign. We're just going to kind of go across those numbers on the keyboard. And so here for the first one, we're going to do control shift exclamation mark. And that applied the number format with a comma here and then a decimal point. Uh, for this one, we want to apply 0.63 as a time. So I'm going to do the at sign, control shift at, and that shifts that into a time. And here now I'm going to do the number sign. This will apply it as a date. So control shift number sign applies the date format. Um, control shift dollar sign applies the dollar format. Um, control shift percentage applies the percentage format with no decimal places. And then the little caret symbol, uh, control shift caret, that'll do the scientific uh, number format. Um, so just basically going across the number keys and hitting exclamation mark at. Uh, number sign, dollar sign, percent, you just keep going across and you could apply different formats and the, the formats all make sense. The dollar sign goes with the dollar uh, format, the percent goes with the percent, the caret goes with scientific formula or the scientific number format. Um, so they, they all kind of make sense, but kind of quick ways where you could format numbers on your spreadsheet. Now this last one, uh, the last worksheet that we're going to look at here, this is make selection and perform action. Um, a few other things that you could do is let's say you want to select the entire worksheet to maybe copy it or maybe you want to delete contents. You press Control A, that'll select everything. Another way you could do that, I don't use this one as often, but Control Shift Spacebar will do the exact same thing. Um, you have a lot of duplicate uh, shortcuts where you have two different ways to do it, but I like Control A, it's just two, uh, two keystrokes instead of three. One of the things that's nice is let's say that you want to select numbers on your worksheet. So uh, what you could do is press shift and arrow key and then you could select uh, multiple items on here. Um, or what you could do is you combine that with the control key, this one here, and you could select the entire set. So control shift arrow key and I could highlight the whole batch of numbers. Uh, moving down, one of the things that's always been difficult or one thing that I had trouble with early on is, well, I have this cell and I want to type content, but let's say I want another row in here. Alt-Enter is a way to do that. So I press Alt-Enter and then here's another row. And then I'll hit Enter and so now I have two rows in there. But you press Alt-Enter uh, to do uh, a return here and create a new line. Now one of the nice things with control enter, let's say that I highlight this set of cells and I want them all to have, let's say 453. If I press control enter, it'll copy that to all the cells that I highlighted. So earlier I showed the fill down technique uh, with this one. Let's say you haven't entered the value yet. Uh, you could enter the value, then press control enter and that'll bring it to all the other cells. Let's say you want to select an entire column in a worksheet. So you want to copy one column, you press control spacebar. Um, and if you want to do the entire row, you press shift spacebar. So control spacebar, control spacebar, and then we have shift spacebar. So for the column and for the row. And lastly, this is the last set. We're almost at 50, but we can combine with shift to copy items. So what I can do is let's say that I want to copy this whole sheet from this point up and over. I could press control home shift. So we're going to press control home shift. And similarly, if I'm starting up here, I could press Control Home uh, or Control Shift End, and that'll go down to the last cell of active data that I have within my sheet. All right, well, those are some of the top 50 Excel shortcut keys. 
I recently learned about a number of these and it's made my productivity in Excel a lot better. Hopefully you too found these shortcut keys handy. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, and if you wanna reference these shortcut keys that we walked through today, I included a link in the description uh, so you could get this sheet and you could practice these different shortcut keys. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other topics that you wanna see me cover on this channel in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, hopefully you learned some good shortcut keys and I'll see you next time. Bye.